The 13 on your side weather deck is brought to you by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. Well, good afternoon. Welcome back uh, today. About as good as it gets for early July here in West Michigan with uh, plenty of sun, comfortable humidity levels and nice warm temperatures. That being said, we're going to watch much warmer air returning to the region in the next few days. Right now, weather ball, though, is solid green. Similar temperatures to what we saw on Sunday. And this view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Notice the milky white sky color right now, the result of the wildfire smoke, which has been pushed south into lower Michigan. Fires burning across uh, parts of Canada responsible for that wildfire smoke. And still a lot of boat traffic coming and going along the channel in Grand Haven on what is looking like a really nice day around the region and current temperatures are in the 70s real nice for the first part of july 72 in traverse city 72 in marquette temperatures in the low and mid 70s for the most part here in west michigan but warm and muggy off to our west 82 in the twin cities of minneapolis and st paul with dew points well into the 60s and so this is making it feel much much warmer on the other side of Lake Michigan, and that's the air mass that's going to be trickling east into lower Michigan here in the next 24 hours. So enjoy the break from the high humidity while it lasts, and you're noticing that wildfire smoke showing up really nicely on this visible satellite image. Notice that uh, sort of uh, well high clouds is what it looks like on this satellite picture, but that's actually wildfire smoke in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Uh, and again, winds at the surface are out of the northeast. And so that's funneling that wildfire smoke here into West Michigan. By tomorrow, we're actually going to watch the winds turn around to the south, and that should push this smoke north of the border back into Canada from where it came from. As we head towards the third week or so of the month of July, it is going to cook. Uh, forecast models coming to uh, better agreement about this uh, temperature outlook, which is uh, put together by the National Weather Service, the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. And this is being verified by several forecast models. Bottom line, this could ultimately end up as our warmest week of the summer. Average highs and lows there on the right in Grand Rapids, and we could be well above that. We could be looking at the first significant heat wave of the season, uh, three or more 90 plus degree days in a row. And yeah, we could be headed there uh, in late July. So make sure your air conditioner is in working order here in the next few days. Today, though, really nice watching those winds turn around to the south on Tuesday as humidity levels are going to start to perk up a bit and rain and thunderstorms look likely as an area of low pressure approaches. Very warm, muggy, unstable air surges north and the table is set, so to speak, for what could be a round of strong or severe thunderstorms. Here's the Storm Prediction Center's thoughts on our severe weather chances. Large hail, damaging winds and even an isolated tornado possible Wednesday late. Uh, still a couple days away, so we still have uh, some fine tuning with regards to the exact timing and the track of this storm, which ultimately determines where these thunderstorms end up. Waves on the Big Lake as high as one to two feet, the highest surf on our southern beaches. And take a look at this. Because of strong east winds, the water temperatures have dropped significantly. In the last uh, 48 hours, they have fallen in Grand Haven from 75 to 49 degrees. It's what we call upwelling. Your 13 on target forecast. So yeah, despite this warm afternoon, those lake temperatures are frigid in some cases. So be careful. Mid and upper 80s today and tomorrow. Rain and thunderstorms looking more and more likely late Wednesday into Thursday and then warmer and more humid. We're back in the mid and upper 80s. We may have to bump up these high temperatures, but temperatures will remain well above average likely by early next week.